Let me ask you this question. As FPNA professionals, have you ever struggled to identify seasonality in your historical data for the purpose of preparing budgets or forecasts? With ChatGPT, now you can quickly analyze seasonal trends from historical data and forecast the next quarter or next year targets. Now, some of you may ask me, what is seasonality and why is it so important for the purpose of forecasting? So seasonality refers to recurring patterns or fluctuations in your data during specific periods. For example, it could be higher sales in quarter four due to holiday. Identifying these patterns manually can be tedious, error prone and also time consuming, especially with very large data sets. ChatGPT simplifies this entire process by helping you to analyze trends, visualize data and face the targets based on the historical seasonality. Okay, so let's first understand this using an Excel example. What we had to do if we were not using ChatGPT but Excel for identifying seasonality. So for this purpose, I have an example with me which has three years of revenue numbers broken down by quarters. So I have about 8 into 3, 24 data points. And as you can see that the quarterly revenues are not very even. They are seasonal. For example, the quarter 1 is low. Then it goes up in quarter 2. It goes up further in quarter 3. And then it comes down. The revenue comes down in quarter 4. So if I had to say, for example, phase out the 2024 target. Say, for example, after creating the budget, my 2024 target was 4,000. And I had to face this number in terms of the quarter wise revenue number. I would have had to look at the seasonality index and based on that I could have created, uh, I could have faced this number into the quarterly numbers for 2024. So let me, let's see how we used to do that in Excel. Okay. So what first I will take an average of all the first quarters of the last three years to give me one data point for the first quarter. Similarly, I'll take the average of all the other quarters as well. So now I have one representation from each of the quarters from the previous three years. Now I will calculate the seasonality index by dividing the quarterly average number with the average of the entire data set, all the 24 data points. I'll just freeze this so that I can move my formulas to the right. So as you can notice, the seasonality index quarter one is 0.81, quarter 2 is 1.12, quarter 3 is 1.25 and quarter 4 is 0.82. What does this mean? This means that one being an average normal quarter, your first quarter is lighter which is 0.81 compared to 1 while your quarter 3 is the heaviest which is 1.25 times your average quarter which is, which is 1. Okay, So this gives you an idea of what seasonality it is. Now, if I, if I had to phase out 2024, what I would have done is I would have divided 4000 order or in the, you know, weighted average manner divided by four and let's see if this works. So I'll have to freeze this G8 and this is how I would have done it without. Let's see how would this look in, in if we had to create a chart for this. So I'm now just summarizing the 2023, 2020, one and the 2022 numbers and also looking at the 2024 numbers that we have and totaling this together let me just bring the labels here on the top and create a chart for just to see what how does it look like okay so let me pick up a line chart and if you can notice you can see the trends it is low in quarter one goes up slightly in quarter two and then goes up in quarter three and then again comes back down in quarter four and we have done this or we have aligned 2024 seasonally with all the other quarters that we had historically this is how we used to do it manually okay so now let's do the same seasonality analysis using chat gpt what i will do is i will copy the same data set that i had used in the previous excel example and put it in chat gpt so if you notice what I am doing is I have put in the data for last three years, which is 21, 22, 23, broken down by quarters. And I will just feed that into the chat GPT. Okay, it's just copy paste of data. And what chat GPT responds is it appears that you have shared a table summarizing quarterly and yearly totals for 21, 22, 23. Let me know if you would like to do any analysis, a chart or insights that needs to be derived from this data. So it is able to read the data which it has confirmed. What I will do next is I will use a prompt. So let me now ask ChatGPT. 
could you please help me identify the seasonality in this data set and let's see what it comes up with okay so it has come up with certain observations for each of the quarters it says that q1 is there is a consistent increase in values from 520 to 590 to 650 and it has come up with different observations and it has also come up with some seasonal patterns it says peak periods are q2 and q3 which also we had identified slow periods are q1 and q4 okay overall data trend it exhibits an upward growth across all quarters implying that seasonality exists but accompanied by consistent year-on-year -year growth okay and this is what it gives as a good observation okay now let me try and give it another command saying that could you please prepare a line chart to analyze this data and let's do one line chart where we can see all the three years let's see if StatDBT is able to do this okay so it is running some codes in python in the background and let's see if it can come with come up with a similar chart as we had created in the excel okay so it has done a decent job and in, in coming up with a chart where again we can see that the lowest point is q1 it goes up in q2 the highest point is q3 and then it comes down in q4 now let me go one step further and ask about the 2024 target phasing so now i am saying now my 2024 target revenue is 4000 could you please help me phase it quarterly mimicking the seasonality index of last three years so i'm giving a very specific prompt to help me phase the next year's target number based on the seasonality index of the last three years so let's see what it comes up with okay again it is running some python codes in the background and uh, let's see what it comes up with Okay, so it has come up with the 2024 target revenue phasing based on the seasonality. So I'll just take a look and I can see the 2024 target numbers broken down by quarters. It says 809, 1121, 1250 and 818, which is exactly what we had calculated when we had created the Excel file. So what you can do is later on from the resources section, you can compare both. I'll download a copy of this as well, which will be shared and you can compare it with the Excel calculations that we had done. Now, one thing I wanted to mention is that here, because the data set is small, it might seem that it is easy to do it manually. But just imagine if there's a large data set of, say, last 15 years uh, with monthly data points, there would be hundreds and thousands of data points that you will have to analyze seasonality for, where ChatGPT can be super helpful. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more insights like this. And don't forget to check out our course on ChatGPT for finance and FPNA. Links are in the description and comments below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.